Item. SCP-1600. Code name. Philosopher's Cheese. Object class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Samples of SCP-1600-1 are stored in the hazardous materials wing of Site-197, within a chamber constructed from a brass alloy with 42% zinc content. All personnel interacting with SCP-1600-1 must wear level C hazmat suits constructed from SCP-1600-1 resistant materials to prevent accidental exposure. Samples of SCP-1600-2 do not warrant special containment and may be stored at the discretion of assigned researchers. Description. SCP-1600-1 is an odorless dark yellow liquid recovered in 1998 from a MC and D facility in Boston, MA. Chemical analysis have shown it to be a compound of sulfur, mercury and several unidentified elements. The Foundation currently possesses 53 liters of SCP-1600-1. All attempts to synthesize additional quantities of SCP-1600-1 have been unsuccessful. When SCP-1600-1 comes in contact with solid matter, it will transform said matter into a sample of SCP-1600-2. The transformation takes from 2 to 37 minutes per kilogram and is usually accompanied by heavy structural damage caused by differences in density between SCP-1600-2 and the initial materials. A small number of materials have been found that are not affected by SCP-1600-1. Of those, brass is currently used in containment as the cheapest and most practical alternative. Refer to document 1600-M4 for the full list of immune materials found so far. SCP-1600-2 is an edible product highly similar to cheese. Coloration, texture and flavor of SCP-1600-2 samples varies wildly based on materials used in their creation. Consumption of SCP-1600-2 is safe and will not cause any lasting ill effects. Even in cases where materials used in creation of the sample have been poisonous or otherwise inedible. See wiki for more details on addendum. Partial testing log.